operator which is a normal operator which we use in uh, sql like other operators like union operator uses it to combine the result set of two or more select statements like we have a select statements to get the particular number of uh, data or retrieve data we use this select statement what if you want to combine two select statements like one one uh, data is getting from one table and another data is cutting from one table to want to combine two do to those three two select statements what we can do yes we can combine those two select statements also by using this union operator this union operator uh, is used to combine select set of two or more select set not only two but more than uh, two of select sets we can combine by using this union this union every select statement with, within union must have same number of columns the number of columns of two tables which are going to combine uh, by the select statement within the union should have the same number of columns this is the one point which you have remember while using with union and uh, the columns must have similar type data type like uh, don't no, no two columns with no different columns with different data types that number of columns should be same and the data types should be same and next a column in every select statement must, must be in the same order the order of the columns should be the same in the same order we have to be like that so then only you can use this union operator in the select statement to combine these two select statements here is the syntax you can see union syntax we have a select statement select column from table one which we generally know until now we have many practices or many select statements this is a normal select statement and we have to union right here and another select statement which we are combining these two things and then you have to give the semicolon that here the command end is that the union is uh, combining these two select statements here this is the normal syntax union all is also is there which is union all is the operator union operator select us only distance value by default like union you are giving then it defaultly it, uh, takes the distance values only it doesn't uh, give the duplicate values to allow duplicate values also in your uh, uh, output uh, to to uh, to combine these two selected statements which are having duplicate values also then you have to use this union all like everything you have to union like all union all we use instead of union whereas union gives only the distance values by default it doesn't give any duplicate values by using union all uh, keyboard or we can say operators you will get all the uh, duplicate data also from these two select statements as an output so column names in the select sets are always equal and equal to the column names in the first select statement the two select statements we should be have the same column number of columns and their data type should be same and they should be in the same order so you have to keep it in the mind this three things while using the, with the union or union all and we are using here it's customer table and supplier table customer table is having customer id customer name and contact name address city postal code and country where supplier table having supplier id supplier name contact name address city postal code and country right uh, now let's see the example to get more clarity this is the normal sql statement where which is returning the cities only distant values because we are using only union so it is giving only distant values from both the customers and from the suppliers table we are uh, combining both customers and here suppliers table by using this union operator but not only every column we are just uh, combining this city column from both the tables and by our order by ordering by city order I means uh, sorting by city in ascending order because we didn't mention by default take ascending order so this is the thing we can uh, skip this order by or we can write uh, no need of uh, uh, compulsory for this sorting if you are necessary you can sort like we are combining these two and uh, writing in a single table like you can also delete this order by and then also you can get results but not in a proper order like alphabetical order you will not get you will get in a different order like a they are combining the things so likewise you will get the outputs by using with union or let's say another example of union all if you uh, some note point you have to remember that if uh, customers and suppliers have the same city each city will only be listed once because union selectors only distinct values like if now we are going to use union all this union all also select the duplicate values if one is the repeat if one more city is repeated then it will give the repetitions also like see this example then you will get clarity on that like here is the example of which we are using union all and order by city the same example but only the union all is different mm -hmm. like we are getting 120 records of all countries which are berlin is uh, reputation is there we can see here and um, 
so repetition will be allowed like duplicacy is will be kept like union all by using union or do you don't want that to duplicate elements and you can go through this here and you can see 94 elements is only there here with by using this union or otherwise if you go with the union all then you will get more number of elements which is a duplicate also like 120 elements we are trying so this is the difference between union and union all the only thing which you have to remember is union will retrieve the uh, only distant elements, not the duplicate elements. Whereas union all will retrieve all the duplicate elements from all. Uh, it, it will combine whole uh, uh, columns or values from both the tables. Okay. Now we have a union with where class. Not only with the order by, we can also use where class while we are using with union. The following SQL statements returns the German cities only distant values from both the call uh, customers and uh, suppliers. Yeah. You yeah, where the city city and country name from customers we are retrieving where country name should be Germany okay union I'm uh, this is a select statement up to here where we is included in this select statement only next we are union with the city and country from suppliers where country is Germany here also country from Germany I'm getting the city and country I'm uh, uh, combining these two select statements and ordering by city so let's see the outputs then you get clarity like I, I'll get countries only from the Germany's only like city will be different from the countries will be Germany you can see all the countries are from Germany only and the uh, order by we have made order by city like A, B, C we are getting in an order so order by we can use and where class also we use while we are working with union okay so that is the thing we have to remember next uh, union all also we can give that where then you will get a uh, duplicate elements also like germany and the same country repeated if one germany and country and more repeated then you will get reputation also like here you can see berlin berlin is two times and german germany like here you can see the reputation is allowed so if you want that reputation or duplicate elements also in your list then you can use union all otherwise you can go with the union only like another example you can see with the union here is the example which is the sql statement select list all the customers and suppliers they are uh, getting the all the list of customers and suppliers here we will run this particular thing let's see here i'm getting a customer as type uh, i'm getting a customer as type contact name and next city and next country from customers and you and unioning uh, select suppliers suppliers uh, i'm getting and uh, contact name city country from suppliers and suppliers i am getting these things and from consumers i am getting this let's run this particular statement here you can see the type uh, customer uh, customer name i am typing as type and i'm getting contact name i'm getting city and i'm getting country from the customers and also from the suppliers okay so these are the thing getting outputs right and next uh, uh, type is the heading and next we have type maybe supplier or type maybe customer we can have here so this is the example which you can go through and practice uh, go through this website and practice parallelly you will get same website and same example so that will be better for practicing purpose as you notice that as type epo it is an aliasing name here i am giving aliasing name for the customer as type a uh, given is a table or a column temporary name aliasing name is a temporary name which we have discussed in the sql aliasing and everything we have discussed there go through that video which is a uh, very useful video of aliasing which we use um, uh, uh, mostly in our uh, SQL statements is aliasing and aliasing only exists for the duration of the query it doesn't it will be affect the database or any data it will be just on the temporary temporary purpose only up to the duration of that query it will exist so here you have created a temporary column called name type yeah, we have created as aliasing as type for the customer and that list whether the contact person is a customer or a supplier maybe the customer or supplier it will uh, take that as a type form only okay you have seen example that i think you get clarity on that and next we have a another more thing called 